Sorry, hold on a second. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Are you kidding? Any time. I mean, not that I have photo shoots all the time. That would be obnoxious, unless you think that would be good for my career. I just wanted to congratulate you. I mean, what you did out there tonight was pretty incredible. You have no idea how much that means. I grew up watching you. Well, now I feel ancient. <laughs> no, I, I just mean you're one of the reasons I'm here today. See, I have this list of goals with my friend, and one of them is win money in the bank ladder match. I know all about your list. You're kind of a big deal at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I never thought I'd be the one to cross off money in the bank because it was only a match for guys, but thanks to women like you paving the way, I did it. And now I can pursue something else on my list. Win the Raw Women's Championship. Sorry, I'm rambling on like an idiot. <laughs> no, keep rambling. I mean, seriously, at this stage of my career, hearing things like that is way better than winning a championship. I'm sorry, but did I just hear you thank her for paving the way? You must have forgotten I was the first women's Money in the Bank briefcase winner. And second, actually, too. Didn't you need a guy to help you do all that? That's how I remember it. That's not the point. What I'm saying is you're just a cheap knockoff that will never compare to the original. So don't even bother attempting to cash in that briefcase. You should just hang on to it as a souvenir. Or, better yet, melt it down into braces for those jacked up teeth of yours. Actually, why don't you step aside so this poor photographer doesn't have to take any more pictures of your mangled face. Ugh! The former Money in the Bank briefcase holder and current Raw Women's Champion Carmella is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new briefcase winner backstage. Yeah, this certainly escalated quickly. Well, if I were Red, I would have taken the rest of the night off, but I guess she had other plans. Oh! Full Nelson. Dragon Ooh. suplex. Oh, stomping away. Full Nelson applied. Dragon uh. suplex. from the suplex. Kick right to the midsection. Red's going to use her briefcase to put an end to this brawl. Carmella gains control and nails Red. And now Mel is taken off with Red's Money in the Bank briefcase. Man. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. What's this? Down. The Janoku driver.
Uh oh. Ooh wee. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. <laughs> Once Red manages to get Carmella down. Carmella kicks the briefcase into Red's face. Wait, what's Carmella doing with the briefcase? I think she's gonna try to destroy it. Come on, Red just won it. Someone needs to stop this. I think it's too late for that. Looks like it's headed for a landfill. Good luck cashing in on me without a briefcase. I got here as fast as I could. What's the big news? This. Is that a dead... animal? No. I spent all night digging through the garbage truck and found your money in the bank contract. That's great! And it also explains the smell. I think that's mostly me. I skipped showering because I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. You're a true friend, but please don't touch me right now. Fair enough. So is the briefcase in the bag too? No. It was completely destroyed, but all that really matters is your contract survived. Besides, you can always just make a new briefcase. True. Well, thanks again. I really owe you one. Ah, don't worry about it. I ended up scoring some sweet bonus items from the garbage truck. Got a few rolls of wrist tape with a bit left on them, a stack of Rusev pictures that are either covered in salad dressing or baby oil stains, and check this out. I think that's possibly Vince McMahon's half-eaten steak. Now that could be worth something. Oof. Cool. Why don't you tell me more about your disgusting trash treasure after you get cleaned up? In the meantime, I'll work on a new Money in the Bank briefcase design. Ooh, you could decorate it with my Rusev garbage pictures. Um, yeah, maybe. Nice. We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money, and you'll always be trash. She has the new accessory.
Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go DI by. I'm not going anywhere because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in! We're gonna have a Raw Women's Championship match right now! I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. No, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down oh. your opponent. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, man. put down face first. Gals, Carmella oh. may be in a bad way here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Carmella is more dangerous than ever. The princess of Staten Island is filled with a hostility we've never seen before, so if a superstar is going to go up against her, they have to strike early. Carmella with a nice reversal. And again, yet another counter. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Not sure how long she can keep it up, but she is fired up right now. Corey, before you mention that Carmella is more aggressive than ever, if an opponent wants to have any sort of chance against the Princess, they'll need to land significant offense right from the opening bell. I'm all for sportsmanship, but in WWE, you have to know when to fight fire with fire. To all the women in WWE, look out! Elbow drop! What does Carmella have to do to regain her composure? She needs to turn the tide here. Back now inside the ring. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Single leg drop kick. Oh, and she makes an escape. Probably looking to catch her breath, I would guess. Whoa. Make it over. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, elbow. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match. It's covered by the challenger. One, two, and the champ kicks out. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's going to be light on her feet out there. Try it again. The title the shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two, three. Red is 
successfully cashed in her replacement Money in the Bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the Money in the Bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. All right. <laughs> All right, thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight, being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities. Which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? 